Hi there, Traveling Troy here. In today's video, build video number two, I'm gonna go over what we did in this truck, the truck camper here. We're in the process of building a camper and what we've done with the flooring for the truck camper, uh, which is step two. First step was uh, build video number one where we kind of did the prep work, setting up the bed and the camper for the build. Step two now is to put in a floor. So that's what today's video is gonna be about, the flooring. But before I start talking about build video number two, I kind of wanted to give you an idea of our goals, our plans for this truck build. So at the beginning here, you kind of have an understanding of what we're doing and why we're doing it. It's probably not going to be your typical truck build. So let me kind of go over our goals. So my dad had other obligations he had to handle today. So I'm out. I'm going to take a kind of a river trail hike today. And while I'm taking that hike, I'll kind of explain to you uh, the plans for the build. Ah, here's a nice little bench we got the river down there okay so kind of our plan for the build will be to um, we bought this we bought the shell it was cheap 500 bucks just to kind of get started and what we plan on doing is below the shell in the bed truck bed level we plan on, we plan on uh, doing the bed the build with the bed and cabinets and you know other things at at or below bed level because in the future, I someday hope to remove the camper shell, the topper, and replace it with a like a like a pop-up uh, a pop-up uh, camper or a wedge camper, um, but kind of an aluminum one. They're a lot more expensive than my little uh, topper. But we just figured it'd be better to build the interior of the camping area first, or the camper first. And then I can use that maybe for six months or a year or two years, who knows. And then in the future, I can remove that easily and just set down a uh, uh, another, like an aluminum camper on top, a pop-up or a wedge. So that's the plan, it looks like, for the, uh, the truck camper. So on this little hike I'm taking, um, it's only, it's nine, about nine o'clock in the morning, 9.15 in the morning. It's only 82 degrees. And right now I'm in a lot of tree coverage, so it's nice. So, good day for a hike. Well, some people have been asking, what am I going to do with the Astro van, my previous camper van? Well, uh, currently the plan is to basically take everything we possibly can use out of the van and use in the truck. Uh, so far we've pulled the, the bed out and uh, we bought a new mattress for that and that's already, actually it's already installed, um, which will be a, the next video will be the bed video. Um, but. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna pull a few things out of there, like my lithium battery. That's kind of expensive. Um, there are a few, you know. We're gonna also, we borrowed a lot of screws, <coughs> and we're gonna, we're gonna grab some wood out of there as well. Uh, the electrical components, we're probably gonna use a lot of that. Maybe the solar panels. We'll look at that. Uh, either that, or I'm gonna, we're gonna do a different solar panel setup because the truck shell, the topper, uh, isn't as long doesn't have as much of an area on top as the uh, as the, the van so we can't fit an eight foot uh, solar panel rack on top of the on top top of the topper so I'm either gonna use half of it only two two of those uh, solar panels or we're gonna do something different and I might put that solar panel rack the three 100 panel rack for sale um, but that's that's in the down the line in the future. So as for the truck build, the plan is to put a bed on the passenger side. The bed is already on the passenger side. We're gonna build a counter on the driver's side, 
which will have the sink and the cooktop and the refrigerator on that side and it's going to have like a pantry under there and water storage for the sink and stuff like that and then under the bed the bed it has been dropped down from when we had it on the van uh, it made it a shorter bed and uh, it's just high enough to fit these nine inch tubs that I have it's like nine by nine by nine foot high but I think ten foot long tubs and I can fit like eight to ten of those tubs in there I forget exactly what but it gives me some good storage under the bed uh, we plan on doing that we're also going to do a pass-through window from the cab of the truck to the back of the truck um, like I said, we've already got the flooring done, which is in this video coming up next. And, um, yeah, I guess that's about it for now for the updates. So, on to build video number two, flooring. In the van, we use plywood for the subfloor. So here we are in the truck, and we're using this cardboard to kind of cut out a pattern here to figure out how we need to cut this board so we fit it just right inside the truck. Oh, and there's a the poor lonely old van. So we use a treated piece of plywood. Actually, we use two plywood boards. They're more resistant to water damage and to mold and things like that. We have two pieces we need to cut out, and this is the wider of the two pieces. This is the shorter of the two boards. We've traced our line out here after getting the template from the passenger side of the van. This will be the under the bed part, and the seam between the two boards will be under the bed as well. The bed width here is approximately 65 inches wide. A board is 48, so we had to put two boards together. We like to test fit the boards and make sure everything fits well before we start our underlayment. So with this truck build, we decided not to go with the heavy insulation because the van was always super hot in the summer. It was amazing during the winter but just couldn't stand it during the summer. So we're going with a lightweight, uh, really just a noise canceling um, underlayment for this truck build. This is a Traffic Master underlayment product from Home Depot and we're just kind of tracing out the size for the bedside. And here we're looking at the large plywood subfloor with the underlayment already under it and we're just about ready to lay down the smaller side. For my Astral camper van, we just use sheet metal screws to attach the subfloor to the van. In the truck, though, we use bolts. A total of 10 bolts, as they are very hard to figure out where from the bottom we could bolt these things in. We've got a lot of things in the way. Here's a look at the bolts from below. Of course, you're having to maneuver around the gas tank and the muffler and the spare tire. Okay, now for a quick update on the tailgate seal. I did finally get that installed. This is the seal between the tailgate and the bed, and then also uh, along the rail here. All right, let me show you how it looks closing it up. It's pretty well sealed. There's no light coming through anymore, so I'm, I'm expecting to not see any dust or water or bugs coming through the uh, tailgate. Okay, and now for the vinyl flooring. We bought this Traffic Master flooring from Home Depot, a sheet of it, and we will cut it to fit the inside of the truck bed. And here we are in the process of rolling out the vinyl floor and gluing it into place. We used Henry 695 vinyl floor adhesive. In the next video, we'll be pulling out the old bed from the Astro van. It doesn't quite fit the truck, so we will be making some modifications and we will be shortening the bed as well to give you more headroom. But the plan is to repurpose this. It's still in pretty good shape and I might even paint it. Well, thanks a lot for watching another Traveling Troy video. Uh, stay tuned for video number three, uh, truck build series number three, which will be the bed build or the bed rebuild, reconstruction, tweak.
build. <laughs> it, the bed has already been built, but we did some tweaks just to get it to fit better in the van and to work overall better. So stay tuned for truck build video number three, the bed build. Make sure you leave a like or like the video, leave a comment, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Take care.